We're gonna see the troll Dan. Yes, Troy Dan. We want his bus reaction. Let's see what he's got to say. I think he's gonna be like, oh, he can make a chance to stupid Zion. Boy, are you kidding me? Like, Zion is, is just gonna know the guy who carry him, but like, that game that he has, kinda good. Like, um, he might turn out like, um, Lonzo might turn out like Chasing Chandler did. Like, um, like, like, for like, he, he was drafted very high, and then like, and then like, later a couple of years, and he, she was doing like a bus. Like, she was treated like a bus, but like now, now he's a me championship and a offensive player. I'm gonna wait any more time. Here we go. What's going on, guys? It's Troy Dan here. And today I was sent in a video that is titled, The Real Reason Why Lonzo Ball is an NBA Bust. Lonzo Ball is not an NBA bust. He's not even close. In fact, he's one of the greatest point guards in the league. Yes, he is. And he's not one of the greatest point guards today. Well, this is... This is for damn preseason. This video was... Was filmed before the preseason. He, he's one of the greatest. My... My ass he is. My ass. My ass. My ass is his. Oh, for some dumbass to make this video... I gotta see. I gotta see what this guy's gonna say. Maybe, maybe it's troll. Maybe it's clickbait. Maybe he's bringing people in. I don't know. Have you guys seen him? Um, ball. Elbow a damn ball. Like, sissy. Yeah, Max? How you seen him? Elbow a boss for him? He must be, because there's no way he could say he's a bust. He's a starting point guard on the Pelicans with the future MVP of the next five to six seasons. He's sitting there with Zion, Brandon Ingram. I don't know how you can say this guy's a bust, okay? His whole family. Yeah, LeVar's bust is big. He's got a good bust. If you know what I mean, he's putting out two for three. It was three for three a week ago. Now it's two for three. He's coming back. I think LiAngelo might still get to a team. I don't know yet. He, 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 he likes to steal, okay? Uh, listen. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. The real reason why Lonzo Ball is a bust, I gotta hear this. 3, 2, 1, link in the description below, go. Lonzo Ball Jesus. is easily one of the most polarizing players in the NBA. It okay. seems like you're either on one side where you think Lonzo's not that good and he's one of the biggest busts in NBA history, yeah. or you're on the side that thinks he's gonna become the next Magic Johnson or Jason Kidd and become an all-time great. And in this video, I am on- So you've been seeing him? Doing like that, that's pretty weird. That's weird to see him like that. Like, you just, like, with his tongue open into the wall, the hell. On neither side. Because okay, when I then look I at apologize what I said, Ka. I didn't know. When you came in with the title like that. Bonzo Ball, I realize what he is, and I accept him for what he is, but that does not mean that he's above criticism for the expectations that people gave him, not only when he was in LA entering the league, but even right now in New Orleans, as after the last game that the Pelicans had against the Utah Jazz, many people were questioning Lonzo Ball's ability. And trust me, this video is not going to be solely based on that game and that performance in particular. But I this is, keep in mind, this is this is before the new season. The season, well, actually, season hasn't started yet. Before preseason, it's before that. So just want to point that out. You want to make this video right now? Pretty sure they're it seems like right we need now. to have this conversation about what Lonzo Ball is. And I'm sure if you've read the title, you know I think he is an NBA bust. Now does that mean? Guys, go outside. And what? Or he's going you to just be told me you didn't care. Year. No, that's not what I'm saying. A bust to me is somebody that simply does not live up to the expectations Guys, in a significant outside. manner. And that's how I view Lonzo Ball. But before we go into why I think that, let's talk about who Lonzo Ball is <gasps> as a player. When Lonzo Ball was Guys. taken with the second overall pick to the Los Angeles Lakers, many cited his court vision yeah, and great playmaking steal. ability as the primary reasons why he was selected so yeah, high. Dead. As many made comparisons to Magic Johnson and Jason Kidd, and even though I think the Magic Johnson comparisons are completely ridiculous, Damn. I thought it then, and I still think so now, I think Jason Kidd was not that far off. No, don't Lonzo you dare Ball compare him to that! 
Why? Is no. He even was no. coming into the NBA. No. And I think that if Jason Kidd came in the league today as he was coming out of college in California years ago, I think the same criticisms that people give Lonzo Ball they would have them for Jason the Kidd. Record. And I think the only difference that separates them is the eras that they played as the way point guards are playing today is completely different. Does that guy look like someone who drinks and drives? Price one if you, if you agree. No, you How What's the right answer? Then, and the game yeah. overall has changed into a more three-point shooting league. But getting back to Lonzo Ball in particular, many people questioned the Lakers for taking Lonzo when he was outperformed by De'Aaron Fox uh, and considering yeah. that he was still- About that Jack classes, that was got one of the worst Jack classes. Three of all those lottery picks has been, I've been balling out Jason Tatum, Dominic Mitchell, like Lonzo Ball, has got to be one of the worst, got to be one of the worst Waddy picks of all time. One of, one of the worst Waddy picks, cause like when he was for a shot, I think it was a bust. Cause he's gonna elbow the board and Dennis Smith Jr., who many thought had a lot of potential at the <laughs> time coming out of North yeah, Carolina you know, State. Happened. A lot of people thought Lonzo was going to be a project especially considering his very wacky jump shot. I still to this day do not understand how he got through high school shooting like that because that's very strange. Oh, 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 it's but very strange. Oh, 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 did you see the college ball? He told it's a little weird. It's, it's different. It's different. Shut up. Yes, it is different because like, um, those are not his NBA players. Lonzo Ball... He doesn't need to prove himself. He already has proven it. He, he is a the league. He, he was looked at as a player that had a lot of promise due to his pluses, but a lot of people were overlooking the negative aspects, such as his jump shot. And when he came in in his rookie year, many of the critics were proven right as he, he not was only injured. shot 36 percent. He kept getting injured. Overall, but he shot just short of 31 percent from behind the arc on nearly seven attempts a game. And to even make matters worse, he shot 45 percent from the free throw line on 1.4 attempts a game. But despite the fact I mean, that Lonzo showed numerous flaws in his game, his rookie season did come with him averaging 7.2 assists as well as grabbing seven boards. Oh, we're just, not, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen then, yeah? I'm just gonna pretend. Listen, do, look, free throws, free throws, who cares about a free? Yes, they do, dude, those count. Like, who's gonna miss a fucking free throw? Nobody will sometimes step court, but like... Oh, Alright, he's making them now! He yeah, shot with... He sucks! I'm just gonna let him be just free to court. Gary Harris! Harris! As yes, he did improve from behind the arc, especially in the last couple of games where LeBron got hurt and Lonzo mm -hmm. led the team for a couple of weeks. I still Look thought that Lonzo ball. was very inconsistent from behind the arc. He couldn't even knock down an open three-pointer. He can't finish with his left hand as even when he's on the left side of the court, he still finishes and goes up with his right hand. And his free throw ability was even worse in his sophomore okay, season. Okay, he, he was lagging. A lot that he got injured. He had okay, injuries, who okay? The hell? He, he's got a lot going on. Triple care. B's. I don't care that's a big brand. Just, and he was the, Jordan, one of the center go, points of it. One of the focuses. So he had a lot going on, okay? Now he's not rapping anymore. He's not on Masked Singer. He's not doing stupid stuff. He's out there getting in the shower with Zion and winning games. He is turning it up. On less and attempts. Yeah, there was no true. reason for the Lakers Four to keep him, especially when giving him up would result in getting Anthony Davis. It really blew my mind. Tell me who the Lakers point guard is, by the way. Tell me. Tell me. Is he better than Lonzo? No, yes, it's not. He is. Cool. People were saying the Lakers yeah. were missing cool. out on a special Lonzo. talent in Lonzo cool. Ball cool. when he never was that yeah, because like, even why? his greatest strength, his playmate, Making like, ability, it was hampered was, by how bad like, he was offensively. Was no, like, Teams would just sag Lonzo off of Lonzo. Ball. They're not doing it now. Not going to make was, an open three. Was. He's not great from the mid range whatsoever. Yes, he so is. So if you're an opposing defense, all you have to do is stop him from getting an open layup, which isn't even a guarantee for him to make. And you'll oh, you be are good. just so you are just talking out your asshole. You are okay, 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 okay. okay. They can leave Lonzo open on the three because he can man him. But on a layup, 
Uh, just one, because they freaking out bought once. They freaking out bought once. So, um, yeah, this is like Jordan's, huh? Jordan's reaction to Lonzo for being a bus. Lonzo Ball being a bus. Jordan reacts.